We're going to do step and toe. Are you with me? <laughs> so listen, I've got step box. It's a bit optional. Oh, I've gone all dark. And we're going to go light. <laughs> so step box or no step box. Hand weights or imaginary hand weights. I'm just going to have a little listen. See what we sound like. Because I like to do that. Sound check. And you've got one minute and 40 seconds <laughs> to get your box out, to get your drink ready, to find your weights or your imaginary weights. We get this on. I just realised I've not got a drink organised, so I'm going to have to do that as well. live in the right place. Here I am. I think I sound okay. If anyone's watching, let me know. Oh, Deborah's here. Good morning, Deborah. Let me just, just turn that around. Right, Deborah, I'm going to go and get me drink. You need your step box and your weights. Remember, if you don't have a box, it's absolutely fine. You can do it without. I will show you. Good morning, Yvonne. You've got a few seconds to get a drink, get a step box, get some weights. What's the weather going to be like today? It's going to rain all day. We'll see. All right, I make it time. Let me just check. Oh, what have I done? That's Siri trying to join in. Siri can get lost. There we go. <laughs> All right. I don't know. I think that'll do. So, um, I have put my box up a level because we're not doing step choreography. Good morning, Leslie. Warm again. Yes, I've got all the windows open. <laughs> We're not going to do step choreography. We will use the step box. We will be stepping up and down on it, but not necessarily in time to use it with choreography. So I put mine up a little bit. Just a little bit of an extra challenge. Okay, when you can, all I want you to do is just do me a heel dig to the floor. If you wanted to, you could do it to your box. I'm just going to do mine to the floor. Then tap out to the side. That's it. And again, again, brilliant. Then I'm going to take the tap behind. So I'm just going in all directions. And again, well done. Brilliant. Heel dig in front again, yes. Look, pull and push with the arms, if you can. Looking good. Let's tap it out to the side. I'm going to do reaching up, yeah. So remember to make sure that you and your space are safe. <laughs> You need to be fit and well to do this workout. If there's any doubt about that, have a seat on the sofa and watch instead. <laughs> Keep that tap going. Brilliant. Now tap it behind. Push away behind you. Yeah? And again, that's it. I'm going to add in a knee lift. So you're just going to lift your knee up and up. Yeah? And again. Brilliant. Can I get you to bring it to a march? Would you roll your shoulders as you're marching? That's it. Couple more. Brilliant. Just a march, no roll. <laughs> Can you march it wide? Just a little squat. A little down, a little up. Yeah, so just sticking your bum out behind for me. I think you're hinging into it and then sitting into it. And again, a couple more. Okay, I want you to do a 
a squat and then nothing. So this is a squat and this is nothing. Can you do it again? Squat, nothing. Two more times like this. Squat, nothing. One more time. Look what happens on the nothing. So I do squat and then I rotate, yeah? Now it's really important when you rotate that your knee turns inwards and your heel lifts off the floor. Let's do four more, yeah? Squat, twist, and again. So we're gonna do this movement pattern with weights in our hand. I want to remind you, if you've got a dodgy knee, adding the weights to this might just be a little bit much. Little march, so it'll be optional. Everything's optional. Let's try step and touch, yeah? And again, that's it, well done. Brilliant. Now bring your heel up to your bottom for a curl. Just warming up the front of the thigh, yes. Excellent. A few more. Rib cage lifted, crown of the head lifted. Okay, back to heel digging front. Just four, three. Now tap to the side and reach up. Keep it going, but reach across. That's it. And again, brilliant. Let's tap behind. That's it. And again, do that knee lift this time. Just lift it up and up. That's it. And again, I want to slow it down. I want to circle the knee. And the other one. And the other one. And the other one. <laughs> Listen, if you struggle to circle your knee, circle your foot low, yeah? Still getting that hip action going, but just not quite as demanding for the hip. Two more. Brilliant. Now heel dig again, yeah? Four of these. Now go slow. Can you get lower? Do me four more slow. And again, two more, one more. Tap it out to the side. Four like this. Reach across for four. Brilliant. Now reach it down. That's it. I know she won't be watching, but I got this off Nikki Rossi. I had a go at her class. It was like I was dancing. I wasn't really. <laughs> Tap behind. Push you away. Kneeling. Brilliant. Few more needs, yes. Nick is one of the fit pros working with pure energy music. And that's whose music we're listening to. Few more knees. And again. That's it. Okay. Let's step and curl. Listen, we don't need to spend too long on this because the first movement pattern in our intervals is effectively a heart, a heart raiser. <laughs> Cardio razor. Come on. Brilliant. Do me a slow tap behind. Yep. And again. Brilliant. I want you to tap behind and hold. Hold it. Bring it back. Do it again. Tap behind. Press the heel down and hold it. Two more times. Going slow. Press that heel. One more time. Yes tap, press, step in march. Okay, so I'm gonna set the timer going, yeah? Your first exercise is stepping up to your step box. Now, if you've got a step box, chances are you know how to do that. <laughs> if you haven't got a step box, I'm gonna start off by showing you how to do the exercise session. without a step box. So right leg leading, stepping up, stepping down, yeah? Up, up, down, down. And again, so we're going forward, forward, back, back. And that's all you've got to do if you don't have a box. Now each exercise, we only do it twice. So I'm leading right leg. Next time round, I'm gonna be leading left. Keep it going. Brilliant. A few more seconds, that's halfway, yeah? few more seconds then we're going to pick our weights up and if you've got more than one set 
feel free to pick up your heavier weights. Blimey, the sun's come out now. Can you see how overexposed I am? <laughs> Last three, two, one. Now we've got 15 seconds here. If you need a drink, Rest. get one. Otherwise, little squat down to pick your weights up. We're gonna do a, a wide squat and a rotate, just like we did in the warm-up. Watch, I go squat Work. and then twist, yeah? Now, this would not be advisable for people with dodgy knees. So I would recommend that if you've got a dodgy knee or maybe a wonky hip, you just go down and up, yeah? But if you can, squat down, rotate, yeah? Notice that I'm not actually resting the weights on my chest. They're off my chest, yeah? If you can work weights in front of your chest, not resting, your core will have to do a little bit more. Couple more for me. That's it. And again, brilliant. All right, so little squat down to put your weights down. 15 seconds recovery. Then left leg leading, stepping up. Get ready to go in five. I know I've already started. <laughs> Sorry if my head Work. chops off the top. Because I've got the box higher. Just a reminder, if you don't have a box, you just go in, forward, forward, back, back, yeah? Nice and easy. That's your choice. And you don't have to keep up with the music. You can do it in your own time. Halfway. Make sure that you're getting your full foot on top of the box. Keep it going. And again, last 10 seconds. Get ready to pick up your weights. Back for that squat rotate, yeah? Ooh. Okay, remember, little squat down. Pick your weights up. Then, bring them off your chest. Nice and wide with your feet. Go down, rotate, yeah? So remember what we said, dodge your knees. Just go down and up. Another alternative is to put your weights on your thighs. Yep, it's up to you. But if you can, keeping them in front of your chest will just give you a little bit more core activation, especially on this rotate. Oh, well done, everyone. Oh, no, that's halfway. <laughs> I thought we were done. We're not. Keep going. <laughs> It's 45 seconds and then 15 seconds of recovery and swap over. Now we've got new exercises coming up. Yep, so put your weights down, little squat, grab a little drink. I'm going to give you a little visual preview of how to do a repeat to knee without the box, yeah? If you've got a box, chances are you know. Have a little look, yes? Three, two, one, and swap sides. So you're still on recovery, but if you can, you're gonna join in in three seconds. <laughs> and again, three, two, one, swap side, yes. Three, two, one, set. On a box or off a box, it's your choice, yeah? You keep that going. I'm gonna join in when I can. Looking good. Fantastic. And again, <laughs> even though I'm telling you that you don't have to be in time to music, I can't help myself. And again, <laughs> that's it. So think of being nice and tall as you're stepping up and make sure you don't let your heel hang off the back. We're nearly there, yeah? Brilliant. Now you need one dumbbell for the next one. Rest. It's curtsy, clean and press. So, weights in the right hand. Here's the curtsy, here's the clean, here's the press, and control it down, yeah? Curtsy lunge, flip it up, lift it up, lower it down, yes? Curtsy, clean, press, yeah? Now, if you don't like curtsies, you could do 
a normal lunge behind you. So have a look from the side. Curtsy goes on a diagonal. The regular version goes directly behind. Listen, if any of these exercises you don't like, good morning, Michael. I wanted to know if you wanted to talk SHT today. <laughs> Where am I? I've lost the plot. <laughs> All right, put that weight down. Back to your box or your no box. Rest. Back to repeat a knee. Now, this time what I want to do is half on one leg and half on the other. So I'm stepping up with the right foot and I'm going to stay here for the first half. Now, if you do run out of steam, feel free to have a rest. And just a reminder that this is what it looks like on the floor, yeah? A few more seconds, then we're going to swap sides, yeah? Okay, get ready to swap. This is halfway now, yes? Brilliant. Keep it going, everyone. Rest if you need to. Conflicting statements there. Ooh. Last seven seconds. Oh, my legs are getting tired now. Okay, curtsy, clean and press, left side. Rest. So that means I've got the weight in the left hand. I'm going to curtsy with my left foot or go directly behind. You don't have to clean and press. You can just do the curtsies if you want to. Fancy arm if you fancy it. It's up to you. And again, if you prefer, there are alternative places. Arm across your chest. Yeah. Or maybe arm behind you. Your choice. This looks a bit more dramatic, doesn't it? If you can, try and press the weight with your palm forward. Now, I'll be honest, that's quite uncomfortable for me. So I like to press it, palm in, because the rotation irritates my elbow. Okay, we've got 30 seconds recovery. Time for you to have a drink and for me to demonstrate your next exercise. Actually, I'll start on the floor again. So next exercise is up and lunge for six. Six, yeah? Have a little look, looks like this. Up, up, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step down, give it a go. Up, up, so you're tapping off the box six times. Then we step down here, try it again. Go up, up, six, five, four, three, two, step down, do it again. Go up, up, six, five, four, three, two, step down, do it again. I hope you're stepping with your right foot. <laughs> Let's do it again. Up, up, six, five, four, three, two, one. And again, up, up. We're nearly there, this is the last time. Ooh. Okay, single Rest. lunge to the box with a single weight. So weight in the right hand, and we're gonna lunge to the box or the imaginary box with the right leg, but we're gonna stagger it, watch. I go forwards, down, up, step back. Now, if you do happen to have a heavy kettle, you could use your heavy kettle. I know I've mentioned that a bit late, yeah? But some people definitely be able to do this with more than a dumbbell, yeah? The idea with the one hand side, one hand thing, is that the weight is gonna try and pull you over and you've got to act against that. So keep your chest upright, try not to lean forwards, down, up, and again. That's it. We're nearly there, I reckon. Ooh. Okay, put that weight down. Left leg leading, up and lunge behind, or tap behind, whatever you want to call it, for six. Get ready to go. This time, yeah? Up, up, six, five, four, 
three, two, one, bring it down. Up, up, six, five, four, three, two, one. And again, I'm laughing because I think this playlist gets faster as it progresses. And I don't like that. I want to be in charge. Keep it going. Up, up, six, five. And remember, it's just little light touches to the floor. Do it again. This must be the last one. Two more taps. Step it down. Let's march. Ooh. Okay. Back to your lunge. Rest. To the box. Single-handed, single-legged, staggered approach, yeah? Arm is here, here, or here. Have a little look. Go forwards, down, up, step back. Now, we have got a hinge as you step forward. So don't try and keep your chest up. Think of sticking your bottom backwards. So it's like a squat. A lunge, really, is just a one-legged squat or a staggered stance squat. You still need to think of sending your bottom backwards and let your torso hinge forward. Not collapse. You're not rounding the back. Keeping the back flat. The hinge is at the hip, not at the rib cage. We're nearly there. Couple more, yes. That's it. And again. Woo! Okay. Weights down. 30 seconds, what's next? All right, so the next two exercises, we do weights first, not weights second. So, just a little preview. From the top of the box, off on top, squats, yeah? With your weights in the hand, short side, long side. I'm gonna start on the floor. So I've got the weights here. I'm going out, in, yeah? So, you can have the weights in front of your chest. You can have the weights on your thighs. You can be on top of the box, working on the short end. Yeah. You can be on top of the box, space permitted. Sorry that I've got no head. <laughs> Keep that going forward. Let's, let's move it back a little smidge. <laughs> Is that any better? No, probably not. But anyway, you don't need to see my head. All the important bits are on display. I feel like my legs have got shorter. I know what the problem is, because I put the box up. Now, let's get rid of the weights. Yes. Little squat down. Squat, kick, and maybe a punch, yeah? Squat, kick, looks like this. Now, turn sideways on, so there's no chance I can kick the box. So feel free to do that, yeah? Okay, now what about adding a punch? Squat, kick, punch. So opposite arm, opposite leg. And again, brilliant. So again, really stick your bottom behind. Fantastic. More than halfway done. Can I do this? without kicking this box. Really throw the punch. What do you want to punch? Punch something on the nose. <laughs> a thing, not a person. Okay, back to the half squats. Rest. I'm gonna turn this box this way around. I'm gonna work on the short end and hopefully by coming back a bit, you'll be able to see me better. Okay, here it is. Now I want you to go Work. same side. Same side, same side, yeah? So it really doesn't matter whether you're on the long end or the short end. Can have your weights on your thighs if you prefer. Woo, get ready to swap sides. All right, let's swap sides. Halfway now, yes? So you choose. Got my knees and toes ever so slightly turned out, yeah? But you can choose. Whatever is your natural neutral stance. Last five seconds. Ooh. And again. Three, two, one. Good news, everyone. 
Put your weights down, Rest. get ready for squat kick punch. Little squat to get rid of those. Whew. Are you ready? Squat and kick looks like this. Listen, if you're not into kicking, just do the squat, yeah? If you like, squat, punch. If you can, add the kick, yeah? I know Leslie likes a bit of punching. Could you punch across on the diagonal? Yes, that's halfway. Think what you've done. By the way, there's four minutes of the workout left. Got one more pair of exercises, yeah? Woo. Keep it going, last few seconds, we're nearly there. <sighs> All right, 30 seconds recovery. I definitely need a drink. <laughs> Any questions about the workout? Do put them in the comments at the end. And if you're on YouTube, let me know that you're watching me on YouTube, because I love to know. Okay, next two exercises, sumo. Have you got space to do sumo? Watch. Starts with an up and tap, one tap each side. Now my weight's a bit close here. If you're in the same situation, will you move your weights? Then, sitting into it, bending both knees, brings it to sumo. Now if you're struggling for space, I would recommend going back to squatting off and on the box, but just do it without the weights and see if you can go a bit faster. Yes. Looking good. Brilliant. So the fact that you can't see my head on this box, that must be a reason why I'll never be able to work on the next level. Now I'm going to use lighter weights for this. So if you have used heavy weights so far, then you might want to consider lighter weights for this. Have a little look. It's an L shape raise. Yeah. Now if you struggle to do one forwards and one sideways, do sideways and then forwards. Or one one side, one the other side, one in front, the other in front. I'm going to stick with this one, yeah? Because if you're a bit less experienced, this might be the better one. Next time round, I'll show you again that L raise, yeah? But I'm doing one out to the side, abs pulled in, you must not lean, yeah? You must not lean to the side or lean back. All right, could you do sumo one last time? Have you got any more sumos left? <laughs> You've got one minute, 50 seconds left. Get ready, let's do it now, yes? So you could just tap, nothing wrong with that. Or if you can, sit lower, yes? And again, that's it, well done, brilliant. <laughs> couple more and again that's it brilliant looking good last few seconds So, last exercise Rest. is the L raise. So just to remind you, the base move will be to do alternating forward raise, followed by alternating side raise. However, if you're feeling fancy, you combine them. It takes a bit more brain power and actually a little bit more strength because you've been challenged in two directions. So, if you're struggling, just work for range of movement, yes? Dodgy shoulder people, this might be for you. Last 20 seconds, what have you got? 
and again. That's it. Last five seconds. I'm knackered. What about you? Three, two, one. We are done. Say it. Session complete. He said it. Little squat down to put your weights down. Heel dig in front, yeah? So if you've got a box, put your heel to your box, yeah? If you've not got a box, put your heel to the floor in front of you. That's it. Keep it going. And again. Now, whether it, wherever your heel is, slow it down. And again. And again. So just really slow it down. Stick your bum out behind. And again, couple more. Excellent. Could I get you to do me a tiny step and touch? Not enough to raise your heart rate. Could I get you to bring your heel to your bottom? Again, not very dynamic, just a casual one. Yeah? Excellent. So this is your dynamic stretch for the front of your thigh. Please stay with this if you find the static version a bit challenging. So if you want to try the static version, it's all about balance. Arm out for balance, bring the heel in, yeah? If you just can't get hold of your foot, if you're rocking all over the place, you're wasting your time, go back to the curls, yeah? All right, let's swap arms, swap legs. So see how it is on this side. Maybe you're rubbish on the other side, but you can do it on this side, or maybe vice versa. Again, if it's not working out, don't waste your time struggling. Just go back to the little curls. Oh, good morning, Sandra. All right, release that. Can you do me a rotate and a stop? A rotate and a stop. So remember that when you rotate, this opposite knee wants to turn in. Opposite heel wants to lift so that you don't put too much stress on your knee or your hip. As well as your torso rotating, you're actually rotating your thigh bone inside the cup of your pelvis. Brilliant. Just a little, pe actually a little pedal. Let's pedal it, yes. Looking good. Okay, bring your fingertips up to the side of your head. Elbows nice and wide. Brilliant, well done everyone. That was quite challenging, I think. I got a proper sweat on. Let me know in the comments how it went for you. <laughs> Let the chest stretch go. Give your shoulders a roll. Lift this one. Lift this one. Wait, hold on. Thanks for being here. Any questions? Do ask, don't be shy. And remember, let me let me know where you're watching from. Because I like to know. We're on YouTube and on Facebook at the same time this morning. I'm always keen to know about the YouTubers. Because they're a bit quiet. <laughs> and if you're watching later, let me know that you did the class later because that always fills my heart with joy. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end it from over here. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great weekend. It's coming home, apparently. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs>